Introducing the MESA 2 Deformity Spinal System from K2M, Complex Spine Innovations. This module demonstrates the right thoracic curve correction using a dual differential correction, DDC technique. This correction technique highlights K2M's MESA platform technology. The MESA 2 screws are dual-lead, low-profile implants. The screws feature zero-torque technology, requiring no torque for final locking, and when locked, have no profile above the rod. Polyaxial screws are anchored proximally, and uniplanar screws are used throughout the rest of the construct. There are some basic components to the dual differential correction philosophy. With this technique, two parameters, material stiffness and degree of bend, can be varied to affect correction. First, select implants for the concave and convex sides. Stiffer rods or mesa rails offer support in axial derotation and sagittal plane restoration, since they may be more resistant to flattening that occurs with concave rods. This will also allow the convex rod to bend during correction. Second, relative to the desired final kyphosis, the convex rod or rail should be underbent and the concave rod or rail should be overbent. The underbent convex rod or rail will provide the push on the convexity. The overbent concave rod or rail will help provide the pull out of the concavity during correction. Last, this technique requires the simultaneous placement of both the convex and concave rods or rails. Placing both rods at the same time and using the MESA screws with the MESA 2 crickets allows the correction forces to be shared over multiple levels. Apply four MESA 2 crickets at the proximal end of the convex side of the construct. Then insert the appropriately bent rod through the crickets and loosely place the remainder of the crickets on the convex side. Slowly reduce the crickets on the convex side working toward the distal end until the convex rod is sitting just above the inner collet of the screws. Fully reduce the top cricket to set a proximal foundation. Note, rotation will occur around the axis of this rod. Leaving the rod proud of the screw head provides freedom for rotation and reduces the potential friction. On the concave side, apply four crickets at the proximal end of the construct. Then, insert the overbent rod through the crickets and loosely place the remainder of the crickets over the top of the rod. Once all the crickets are applied, rotate the rod into the proper sagittal alignment. Slowly reduce the crickets, working from the outside in, moving towards the apex. Reduction is done slowly using each cricket and moving to adjacent levels to avoid point loading on any one screw. Note the vertebral bodies rotating around the axis of the convex rod as the concave crickets are reduced. This sequence also bows the convex rod. Continue reducing until all the concave crickets are fully reduced. If compression or distraction is desired, loosen the cricket, compress or distract, and retighten. Repeat the same sequence on as many levels as desired. Complete the reduction by fully tightening the convex crickets starting from the proximal end of the construct. Compression or distraction can be applied to the convex rod at this time if desired. Note, at this point the two rods are nearly identical in contour. Finally, use the over cricket locker to fully lock each mesa screw. Turn the knurled knob one half turn counterclockwise. Then grasp the gold body, turn 90 degrees, and pull up to disengage the threads and remove the cricket. Once the crickets are removed, the construct is complete. MESA 2 Deformity Spinal System from K2M, Complex Spine Innovations.